Today, we're gonna to make a loaded coleslaw with bacon and apple. Hi, I'm Malia Millam, and I am the founder of the food blog, Premeditated Leftovers, and the author of the cookbook, Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch. My family absolutely loves this coleslaw salad. So what we're doing, I'm just chopping some of the vegetables to prep. I've already cooked some bacon um, to add to the recipe. Eight slices of bacon, one red apple, half of a red onion. So let's go ahead and start putting these together. Now this is what I call a cheater recipe. You can make your coleslaw yourself, but I cheat and I use one 16 ounce bag of um, coleslaw, tricolor coleslaw, if you can find it. And I use a 16 ounce bag of broccoli slaw. So that is going to add a lot of vegetables. Now, again, with the broccoli, you can also um, use a julienne uh, slicer and um, make your own broccoli slaw, but I'm gonna cheat. I wanna pull this together really quick and easy. And here's my eight slices of bacon. Let's go ahead and add those. Whoa, we don't want any of that to go to waste. Half a cup of red onion. And then here's my red apple. I used a Fuji red apple. You can use whatever apple you like to use. I like to use um, the red Fuji apples. They're just nice and sweet and then a quarter cup of almond slivers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start mixing these in just a little bit, not completely, because then we're gonna add the dressing. But I wanna go ahead and start distributing some of these ingredients throughout the salad. And we'll finish the rest when we add the dressing. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressing. Traditionally, um, Coleslaw has a mayonnaise dressing, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, and then instead of vinegar, which is what's used in a lot of mayonnaises, to get that tang, instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a quarter cup of balsamic vinaigrette. I believe I have a recipe for this in my second cookbook, Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch, but you can use your favorite balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm gonna use a quarter cup. Make sure we get all of that in there. And so this is just gonna add a really nice flavor to it. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut sugar. Um, I prefer to use coconut sugar when I'm making salad dressings, but if you prefer traditional sugar, go ahead and do that. If you are sugar free, then go ahead and use like a sugar substitute like stevia or swerve or something like that. Okay, so there we go. We have this nice dressing. Make sure it's all mixed together. And it is, okay. Now I'm just going to add it to the, our salad. Then I'm gonna have to toss the salad really good to get it completely coated. But believe it or not, just this one cup of, of dressing really will coat the salad and just add a nice bright flavor to it. All right, I've completely mixed the dressing in so the salad is completely coated. Now you can chill it from anywhere from an hour to overnight. So you can make this ahead for a party if you wish to. So if you're taking this to a party and you wanna put it in a prettier bowl, if you want, you can save some of your bacon and then just sprinkle it on top. And you can also sprinkle some of your almond slices just to make it a little bit more fun when you bring it into the party. For a printable recipe, click on the link below. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit the follow button. That way you won't miss any of my cooking videos.